the day on the Mark Reed outfit. Just a little south of Cortland, Kansas. I know the audio is going to suck today because we're working with about a 40 mile an hour wind. The gal out there right now, that's Haley Schroer. It's her dad and her daddy's brother that we was branding for yesterday. We're just getting started on about 200 ahead. We've already run the cows through in this little batch of them and vaccinated them, poured them. They're turned out there waiting for the calves to come back. Like I've told people, don't cheat a hamburger. Away. Don't go cussing about it. Cause this is the way it's done. It's the way it has to be done. It's just not that big a deal. They work the cattle as easy as they can. Damn things cost five or six hundred bucks. It'd be stupid to do anything. It's gonna hurt them or anything like that. I found that it works a lot better than gathering the cows and sort the calves off and haul them 15, 20 miles to a vet or to a work and shoot. So then you got to unload them again and run them through an alley and a shoot. Then you got to work them and load them and haul them back again. This way we sort them off from their mamas. And this working takes just a minute or two and then they're back with mom. It's just a lot easier on the calves. Kind of a fun job for the ranchers too. That everybody gets together and helps everybody and makes it more fun than work. Unfortunately, we're branding on the Reed outfit today and when he was up helping Dennis yesterday, why well, had a calf get away when they were sorting the cows and calves. He happened to be a horseback yet wanted to get to it and it was roping out in the pasture it wasn't kind of an easy deal like this and something happened when he roped the calf I don't know exactly what the calf ducked out or something but anyway he ended up getting off his horse a little faster than he wanted to he ended up tore some ligaments in his pelvis and he spent the night in the hospital and he sat over the Mule four wheeler now kind of supervising the deal, but he don't have to worry. He has plenty of friends to help him, and they're damn glad to do it. I'd like y'all to watch these old ranch horses sometimes. A lot of people say their breed or whatever, what they do with horses is the best thing, and they're the best broke on earth, but. As far as I'm concerned, no ranch horses. Probably about as good as anything there is. They got to do a lot of different things. They got to do it right. Or somebody's going to get hurt. Watch these horses walk through all these people with the smoke and noise. There's a bunch of people working here. and They're working fast and they don't see who's coming. And the people be jumping in front of you and turn around and run into your horse. These old horses got to be pretty solid and pretty broke to be doing this kind of stuff. They have these old cattle kind of crowded up in a deal like this and it's a little bit tough to heal them sometimes because they get in a bunch and you don't get to have the room to get your rope underneath them. But if you just work them slow, I, you can ride among them and You'll get them caught. See, 
yeah, they work these old calves slow. The calves, it's just so much easier and take them through a working shoot or something. It works good and it's a good way to do it. And <laughs> it's a lot of fun and <laughs> there's a lot of beer and good grub after you get done. But that's the way it is out here in the West on Sunday, April 20th.